What's up fam? Happy Sunday. If you're watching the video on the day it launches, it is Sunday, August 29th. It's the end of August, the year. We're entering that third quarter. I decided to make a market prediction video and talk about what my personal opinion for the stock market for the last third of 2020 and how it's been such a crazy year this year. Where do we think it's gonna go? Currently, markets are trading at all-time highs. On Friday, the S&P closed at 3,500 points, a all-time high. So did the NASDAQ and the Dow. So without further ado, what do I think the stock market is going to do for the remainder of the year and how I think you should invest your money? So in terms of your buckets, which would be your emergency fund, your retirement savings, and then your discretionary. So we will start with this. You're just gonna leave in the bank, keep it safe. You never know when that rainy day is going to happen. So you always wanna keep that money. And like in one of my previous videos, link down below, you want to make sure that you have between three to six months saved up for any rainy day or emergencies. With retirement savings, bucket number two, this is money that you're most likely not going to need for a long time. And if you don't need it for the next five to 10 years, at this point, long-term predictions have shown that constantly saving money on a regular weekly or bi-weekly or monthly basis always trumps market timing. So for any money that's gonna be over five years away that you're gonna use, just keep putting that money in. If the market goes down, if you can, up it one or 2% in your retirement fund and get the stock market for a better price for that long-term gain. But ultimately, you don't want to do anything drastic with that money. And for your third bucket, your discretionary bucket, this is less than 10% of your net worth, which you may be investing in stocks, like single sole companies. If you have large gains, I'm going to revert back to everyone's favorite TV show host, Jim Cramer. No one ever got hurt taking a profit. At this point, at all-time highs, we always suggest that you should reconfigure your portfolio. Take a look at it. What's been working? You know, do you like it going forward? You know, that's more of an individual case-by-case -case basis. But back to the original question of what my predictions for the market are. Statistically, this is an election year. Election years are up, but that doesn't mean much. And for the majority of your money, if you have that long time horizon, I want you to just invest every week. And I want you to be laser focused and be deliberate in constantly investing that money because a short term blip, like in earlier this year during April and March, when the stock market had a 50% decline. Look, we're back to all time highs in less than six months. So if you would have sold, it would have been a horrible actualized loss. And hindsight's always 2020, but just constantly focus on long term and make sure that you understand your risk tolerance and that you're never over leveraged. So, with that being said, nobody actually knows where the stock market is. And again, this is my prediction. Don't trade based off of my opinion on the market, but look forward and have a great Sunday. Power through the week and finish out strong. And we will see you next Sunday where we enter the third quarter of 2020 in September. Have a good weekend.